Hello there, you're watching Dansky, and in this two minute tutorial, we're going to learn how to create history snapshots in Photoshop. So I've created a new document and I'm going to go to window and down to history. And this opens the history panel and you can see I've got it docked here on the right. Now the history panel tracks everything we do in Photoshop from drawing to making selections, to applying effects, adding adjustment layers. As you can see, as I start drawing lots of squiggly lines, they're all listed in the history panel. And I can go back to the top here, Untitled 1, which is the name of the file. Click this and it takes me back to the very beginning when I first created or opened up this file. So let's draw those squiggly lines again. Now let's be honest, when we work on large projects in Photoshop, we have a tendency to sometimes be very cautious and say version 1, version 2, version 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's really not. And there's a nifty little feature in Photoshop called Snapshots that essentially creates a checkpoint in the history panel. And that is the camera icon at the bottom here. So we can click that and you can see it creates a snapshot. And we can call this whatever you like. So squiggly lines, you just double click on the text and rename it. And then if I keep adding more squiggly lines, I don't know why I'm drawing squiggly lines. This is the extent of my creative ability, apparently. And I get to a point and I think, oh, do you know what? I've ruined it. These squiggly lines are just terrible. I have my snapshot here and I can simply click it and it takes me back to that point in the document. Or I could even go back to when I first opened up the document and I can just jump between snapshots simply by left clicking on them. Now, snapshots are removed. They're not saved with your document when you close it down. So they're like a temporary way of saving your file or creating a checkpoint while you're working on a project. And there we go. That's how to create history snapshots in Photoshop.